Well, hello there. Hello, how are you doing? Oh man, I've been having a great time, honestly. I <laughs> was very busy during the weekends. I'll just show you in a second here. Um, classes and jobs and then into the uh, the hand. You see, all of my discipline of the land are now level 60. I've started working on the, the crafting classes. Uh, and and I'll, I'll, I just wanted to get them up to 20 for whenever we hit the um, 3.3 version after the main story of Heavensward uh, so we can go into the item and just level them up also great news for those of you who are free trial members um, as of today the server is back online and that means that you can now uh, safely level up to level 70 you have been given storm blood into the free trial as well so if you want to continue your progress on your character you can now add a additional 10 levels to all of your classes which is in my opinion a great great thing they have done and i'm looking forward to see whatever changes they do provide also free company has been doing great 113 members um been assigning a few roles here and there uh, and, and overall it's been it's been doing great it's been doing good thank you so much for that i really do enjoy that i've seen chat go on <laughs> constantly which is good anyways let, let's get on to this um fair warning I, I didn't i kind of forgot i kind of forgot if we go into actions and trades uh you can see abyssal drain is still here yeah yeah, you know, it's annoying. I might need to pick this up. Uh, we can hold off on doing this until we reach any dungeon that is level uh, 56. So, yeah, that is going to be good. Uh, and then we actually have to do the original set. I'm, I'm not going to read everything of that. Um, I'll, I'll eventually make some videos out of that. Okay, let's go talk to Elfinod. Pray return to the summons and, inform, uh, and inform our companions of these developments. I will serve as the Elder Seed's guide on the journey back to Som El. Uh, it being a path I have already trolled, I do not anticipate any great difficulties. Besides, we shall have the Elder Seed's personal guard to escort us, so I'm going to assume they're extremely powerful. At least that is what I hope. See, this is, I'm also going to be clicking this quite a bit. So yeah, let's go to the mock home. And yeah, the reason I couldn't level up like the, some of the class jobs. Yo, Getsu, how are you doing, man? Welcome. So the reason I couldn't continue with the, the mines, like some of them, they still, I'm, I'm sure not all of the quests are, like digging deeper. This is a level 58 class. I can't do this because it is locked somewhere in this region or in the region next to it. And I cannot get to Idleshire, which is quite annoying because they actually show it to you. But they just don't want you to go there. Which is somewhat difficult. Um, hopefully today we'll be progressing quite a bit. We'll see how that will go. Um... So, let's get back onto my Dark Knight. And let's go into... Where's the entrance? Yeah, I've actually been exploring this a tiny bit, as you can see over here. I was mining a bit. I didn't take anything from the Ether Currents, because, you know, what's the point? You know, you, you need to do the main quest as well, in order to be able to get to fly in this area, and... Yeah, that, that's just a bit much right now. I do expect that we will finish this uh, particular particular area. So anyway, how are you doing, Getsy Flask? Assistant, let's go take, take a look at this guy. Well, Matt, Warrior of Light, Nikok is not stirred, but he is watching us unblinking. Yeah, you have one of his eyes, so I guess you know when he's blinking. I'm doing great, um, had a good two days, bit tired, skipping the night, it is um, half past 11pm for me, 
Hmm. The elder Sita herself answered our call, then there is not to do but wait. I'm going to assume she's going to be here right away. I had a feeling you were, man. Welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining the FC. Hopefully you'll have a great time. And, uh, yeah. I, I asked if you were a streamer because someone joined the Discord and apparently he's a streamer. So, when asking me if I stream, what are you doing, dog? What's up? What is up? I got two dash wounds and they're eyeballing me like, what are you talking about, man? It's a bit noisy today. So I was assuming you were the person joining the Discord and had the content creation role. Ah, there, ah, they are here, Delhi. Ah, so how long have you been playing Final Fantasy, if I may ask? Greetings, my friend. I'm happy to report that our journey was uh, merciful. Uh, mercifully uneventful. Okay, that's interesting. Um, the void as the road. The void as the road was of Dravanians. It would seem that the dragons have abandoned Somal and the church. Why would they abandon that? That makes no sense to me. Uh, you haven't joined the Discord. Maybe you should. It, it's optional. Don't do anything you don't want to. I can definitely uh, understand that. People are suffering from Discord fatigue. There's too many Discord channels. Uh, but I do try to host events. And there's actually a bunch that I'll show you right now. Uh, let me get... Which one is it? This one. Here we go. Uh, there's actually a bunch of them in the voice chat. Frederick, Cat. Uh, Helen, uh, Will and Sandra, I don't really know, but I'm also trying to host some events, like extreme trials. Uh, once we hit 8, we can start doing them, uh, game night in the Golden Sorcerer, also achievement hunting and stuff like that. So that, that, that stuff, if you're interested in that, then yeah, by all means, just um, just join the, the Discord. If not, you know, it, it's it's fine, there's nothing wrong with not doing that. Let me make sure I put down that display. Here we go. And yeah. Uh, I just started playing Final Fantasy like a week or two ago. It's my fourth attempt playing a game and I finally am enjoying it. Oh, I, I really understand what you're saying. Like I started playing this game when it was like released. I played Final Fantasy 11 a bit and then Final Fantasy 14 came in with version 1. And, and I didn't really get it so i stopped playing and then i came back played a bit on the european server i stopped because i was bored then me and my wife were actually playing this and it didn't really feel right and then was i, th I think in december of last year i was talking on discord and we were like yeah you know let's give an attempt i'm skipping the nights anyways and so i might as well just join a north american server right and I did, and that resulted in the creation of the free company, and then, you know, it was a slow process, finally getting some people that liked chatting, and just were interactive, and, and, fun. and then I got Fred, Million, I got Zelai, who unfortunately is no longer with us, and, 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 and a bunch of others, like, like Sora, Geyser, uh, Voy, who were great, uh, and now Fred and Million, they're, they're doing great. And we also have you. So welcome. I appreciate you joining us. Really do. Hopefully you'll have a good, good, amazing time. Greetings, my friend. I'm happy to report that our journey was perfectly unavoidable. The pride of the run would seem the dragons of a bed. Okay, we already read that. Uh, Elder Seed. Oh, if you don't want to get any spoilers, this might not be the best stream to catch because I'm really just doing MSQ. Yo, Ida, how you doing, man? And I can definitely imagine you don't want to get too many spoilers. So yeah, very, very spoiler-heavy this stream is going to be. Spoils the whole MSQ, yeah. Mm -mm, completely. The dungeons and everything. Even blue quests. Then nothing is safe. 
<laughs> oh, how are you doing, Ida? So, have you been playing 6.5? Like, have you tried it out? You're playing on your main? Elder Seeds, uh, may I present to you as uh, Assistin, as Guardian Azu Dragon? Not yet. Hmm, how so? Just raid it today. Yeah, you must be busy then. Uh, thanks, Nima, to the guild. I've been thinking of joining the Discord since I do want to group eventually. Awesome. Like I said, feel free to join. Do whatever. Uh, just have a good time. That's all that matters. Nothing else. Have a good time. Uh, it's an honor to meet you, Sir Assistant. I've heard many tales of your order's extraordinary skills and courage. Put the volume up a bit. Uh, friends, I feel I, I feel it's only right to inform you that we are not alone. The Mughals are all around us even as we speak, and I should imagine they are more than a little concerned by the horde of strangers that they have descended upon their home. Mayhap now would be an opportune moment to introduce ourselves. Kind of uh, addicted to Elden Ring again. Yeah, you know, I've heard it's a great game. It's not for me, but I've heard it's a great game. Right now, it will be MSQ grind. Just to... how far are you in the uh, in the game so far? And if you need help, please, please let us know. It doesn't matter if it's dungeons, if it's trials. Whatever, just 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 hit us up. We'll help. Uh, you're in two point. Oh damn! You you're very close. Wow, you've been going at it. Amazing. This should serve. Uh, they're hiding, of course, but there are so many of them. Yeah, you are very close to the finish line. Why is this not voiced? Like, this is one of those opportune moments to be voiced, right? So, I am Kane Senna. My companions and I have braved the long road for the Twelve who to share words with you. On this occasion, on this, the occasion of our first meeting, we bring an offering of light and wind. So you first invade their home and now you're blinding them. Yeah, that's a peace offering, alright. <laughs> oh, such a gentle and pleasant glow. Oh, he's amazing. What a, a Muglin, the chieftain of this Muggle clan. And you are huge, dude. Chief Muglin, it's an honor to meet you. Who is I'm Cooper Cobb, ambassador of 12 Foots Muggles. Muggles, probably. A Muggle from the world below. Your height is of a different hue, but that palm is unmistakable. I might need a moment here, Kupo. My companions were no less surprised to learn of your existence here among the clouds. I hope they did not startle you over much in their eagerness to make your acquaintance. Full well can I imagine the weariness. I am told that men have not walked here in night of a thousand winters. Look at that bloody smile. Mayhap you will forgive them, f uh, mayhap? You will forgive them their forwardness. When I unfold to you the grave matter which first brought them into your midst, my companions crave an audience with the great uh, worm uh, Isvelge. I'm sorry, I'm horrible with names. You will have to be forgiving me on that. I, I will butcher every name I come across. 
that they might negotiate an end to the war twixt man and dragon. An end to the war, you say? I trust you. The light of peace shines brightly within your soul. <laughs> you are very eager to trust. But I'm afraid the same cannot be said for your friend. To be plain, we did not hide ourselves because they uh, they were the first of your kind to be seen in here in a thousand years. Well, not only because of that, we hid because of the smell of dragon blood. Dude on the left. The skies are home of many, many dragons. While some crave peace, uh, many others crave the opposite, such as Nitok. Suffice it to say, we are worried that the presence of your blood spattered warrior friend will attract the attention of the nastier kind and invite destruction into our happy home. Now, just a moment, Chieftain. Daily may have been toddled out the old treasure too, but it's always been for the greater good reason. Yeah, but that's... Who's the judge of that? She is a champion of the Twelve Sweet Muggles, and I will not hear her good name slandered. Now, now, Ambassador, let us not ruffle each other's fur. I shall, of course, take your testimony into consideration. If I may, Chieftain, there is little room to trust to strangers. Might we not take this opportunity to learn more of each other? The, the twelve Mughals, the, the Mughals of Light, over there. An excellent suggestion. In the interest of fostering friendship and keeping an eye on you, I extend to you the hospitality of Mughal home. Prove yourself worthy of our assistance, and it will be yours. I shall be watching. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, um, okay, I shall talk to him then. What do it? Tell me. In the world down below, do all of your kind look so different from one another? It must be terrible disconcerting. What was that? Scoopo Cop called you again? Daily. Hmm. Your name are as old as your appearance. Have you ever considered a nice Mughal name? Mughalin is taken, by the way. Ah, I would actually not mind. As are Mugan, Mug, uh, Mug, Mug, and Mugwin. These being the names of the three wise Mughals who will administer the momentous challenge that I have devised to measure your worth. I call them the Trials of Worthiness. That's actually a good title. Undertake these trials, and we shall soon see whether or not you are worthy of our aid. What's this? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be taking any of them, unless they look cool. Let's try them on. Try on some gear, please. Ooh, wait, did that just flip? Yeah, that is actually quite cool. Uh, that's for the Dark Knight. Let's take a look. Wait, what? A gladiator and a paladin. Never mind, that's not a Dark Knight. This is Dark Knight. Yeah, I don't like it. I like the X. And although it's not very bling much, is it? Let's just take this.
Okay, so Mughen, which will give us more weapons, which I will most likely not take. Oh, that is so unfair, look at that. Giving them another Paladin Gladiator weapon. Rogue Ninja, or the Spell Speed. Okay, let's go. Uh, yes, I'm Mughan, uh, the foremost alchemist of Mughan, if you must know. If your tummy, wait, wait, if your tummy's gloopy or your wings droopy, I have a potion to fix that. Or I would if I didn't keep running out of ingredients. Luckily, you're here to do my chore, uh, trial. Yes, yes, go forth, my dear adventurer, and mightily pluck free springs. Of cloud of breath for me. You'll find it bl uh, blooming near the entrance of Altom. It's not the safest of places, so don't let yourself be too extracted by pretty flowers. Okay. Which is. Over there? No, it's over. Is it up top? Might have to go over here though. Okay, so this might be a, a point that I might just take. Uh, and I'm referring to this. I don't know how it works. How does it work actually to do these uh, sites? Oof. Do I need to fly for that? Might have to jump over there and then. No. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. There's no way. I, I'm i horrible at platforming. I could not beat the first level of Mario. That's how bad I am. I'm thinking I'm going into the wrong direction. Yeah, I need to go there. Let's go... Summon a chocobo. Uh, write it, you know. Would he be able to do it, by the way? Would he be able to jump on top of it? Uh, where the hell am I? Yeah, here we go. Ooh, Eve current. There we go. How many do I have? Let's go to travel. Uh, not sure. Make sure it's jump build. I think I never made it to... Oh, okay. So I'll just wait until I can fly. I At some point, I want to get all of these sites. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Yeah, I love it. So weird. There's a lot of these flying things. This looks very ominous. Uh, there's one in Storm that you will love to get, or rather two. Oh, can't wait. I can't wait to get into... Yeah, actually, once I reach 3.3, it is as far as I have ever been. I can't wait. You know, it, it will take me months uh, with my speed and um, my distractingness. Is, is that a word? Distractingness? Distractingness? Huh? I, am I in the wrong position? Are you kidding me? I have to be down there? No. Oh no, I think I might need to be just down here. Wait, there. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I am. Here we go, Moogle Mock. Get some other stuff, let's just quickly get these. Tons of platform, oh my god, no. Like me and my, so me and my wife were playing, well actually we were planning on playing on some Mario. And... She knows I am horrible at that, so she gave me like all of her lives 
and eventually I had like 99 lives and I still could not beat the first level that's how horrible I am at platforming hmm yes you have the pleasure of speaking with Moog Mug. I know I know I am the fluffiest most enchanting creature you have ever laid your eyes upon uh, then we have to do but yeah I think uh, we have to I hear that there is a bit of a platforming game in the golden saucer might have to do that um, it isn't easy being so adorable I can barely take a stroll outside without those relentless Dravanians throwing themselves at me why they look as they might just nuggle me right up in any case fleeing their overbearing adulation is growing a bit tiresome your trial madam it is find these ardent oh my god Arceanosaurus and slap some manners into them perhaps a firm smack on the snout would teach them to appreciate my charm from afar okay interesting uh, the infamous Kuka tower mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would be great. Like, I, I hear there's a great uh, amount of games you can play there. I've never been. Well, I, that's not true. I've been there. I have attuned to the crystal, and that's about it. Uh, Mugo wins the name and art is my game. When it comes to painting, there are none in Mug Home or Mug Home who can match my talent with a brush. I know why you have come. Chieftain Morgan has demanded that I test your worthiness. But I also trust no one to create art that will satisfy me. I instead charge you with retrieving a masterpiece I seem to have misplaced. It was an ambitious and innovative work guaranteed to fetch at least four Cooper nuts in the open market. You must find it. Question the masses. Surely, a pebble painting with such a vibrant color and unmistakable penance cannot have escaped the notice of every Mughal in Mughal. Okay, so we need to question the masses. Such a weird side mission this is, actually. Mugwin is missing a masterpiece. Oh, you mean that painting smeared mess of a pebble? I've not seen it recently. A fact of which my eyes are profoundly grateful. Oof, I don't think he's that good of an artist then. Uh, the maestro has misplaced this masterpiece. Oh, happy day. If I... If I'm a Swiffer in finding it, I will soon have a genuine Merquin for the price of a little persipration. Honestly, who has four Cooper nuts just lying about to spend on such luxuries? The Mughal stock funny. I like the other Moogles more. I think they're just easier to pronounce. Mm, I don't know how much about his stone, but I do know Moogwin's been creeping out of the back way to some Al summoned from the time to time. Cooper, maybe put it up there. So I have to go back to him again. This is so weird. Well, did you what did you find out? Yeah, nothing much actually. Uh, apparently you're a horrible artist. Ah, ah yes, now you mention it. I do seem to recall leaving my pebble out in the sun to dry. <clears throat> 
Second part of your trial commence. Go adventure and retrieve my masterpiece before some art strafed admirer swipes the stone for himself. So this is up. I'm going to assume it's up there. So I'm not sure about this. And I'm just going to be risking it. We can always jump down. I keep forgetting that is another way in. Oh, come on. Also, uh, Ida, how uh, how is that job uh, thing going, man? And look at that sunrise, or is it sunset? I don't know, but it's amazing. I'm sorry, I need to. There it is. There it is. A painted stone. The final appointment. The 17. Now, hopefully, you get it, mate. Okay, now before we go down there, let's just quickly do the others as well. Can I jump? My HP is not loving this. Alright, let's, let's deal with this. Also switch to the warrior from time to time actually. Not use him in a while. Because he is level what level is he? Oh wait, there's another one, never mind. Okay, so that one's also done. What level is my... He is level 56. Yeah, we can actually use him for a bit as well. I still don't have the boots. Oh, I didn't buy them. I'm an idiot. Yeah, because I have the domes. I should buy the boots. Why did I not do it? But yeah, it's been... It, it would actually be nice having... I've not done any of them. Better X rounds level 60. Level 50. Oh my. We're going to be busy. Okay, let's just keep it to the Dark Knight then. Where are those things? Wait a minute, here we go. Two. And then, would three be above here then? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, come on. Yeah, 
There we go. There we go. Alright, that's free. Let's just teleport back because why not? It's just 70p. Okay, let's talk to the pebble guy. Do you have it? Is my masterpiece safe? Oh, I do. Here is a masterpiece, mate. Yes, this is my work. It's it not exquisite. I call it contemplation of zenith. Thank you, man. At last, I can exchange my art for those de delectable coupon nuts. Delectable? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not going to take any of the weapons, I don't think they're worth it, and I'll just take the materia because I can always sell it. Uh, whenever I hit a million, I'll just donate it to the free company, because why not? You are able to uh, you were able to humble my Ravanian devotees. Wonderful. You are as capable as I am captivating. Still, my precious perfection does not excuse those uh, those louts from pursuing me so merc mercilessly. Their tongues lolling and bellies rumbling. Man, you, you really are weird. Dravanians and their ilk um, have much to learn about acceptance acts of admiration admiration or something did you have any trouble finding clouds breath i do need quite and do need quite urgently you know okay i got i got it there you go oh yes these are perfect now I have the main ingredient for my pom tonic. Speaking of which, how are you feeling, miss? Should you ever feel your pom losing its bounds? Then I'm your muggle. You've completed the trial of Touchwardness return to Okay, well that's nice. You are too far away. Great. Uh, daily, if that is what you insist on calling yourself, you have completed the trials of trustworthiness administrated by the task managers. During this grueling test of character, I closely observed your conduct as well as that of your companions, and I am decided to gather your friends before me now. So that I need not to repeat myself. You're joking. Ooh, we got a blue quest. Um, we'll do it once this is done. Let's do it to Orphinot. The trials are over. Yes, they are. Uh, if our host elects not grant their aid after working us like a packed chocobos, I shall demand compensation. Yeah, you do that. Elfinot, that, that's the way forward. Demand compensation yes how goes the trial warrior of light I'm done okay I'm done just 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 hold her up standing here Mughal home my thoughts are turning inevitably to the legend of good king Mughal Mok okay great maybe I'm not reading everything they say because you know it, it's just meh. You know it, it doesn't matter. We we need to huddle up. Come on, mate. Oh yes, he loves the fluffiness. Let's go. Love the fluffiness in your own time, miss. Okay, Moogle. 
still too far away. Uh, never have I seen such determined workers. It would have taken us moons to complete all those daring George and niggling errands, aka trials. And you have our labors proven the purity of our intentions? Without a doubt, in fact, there was never really all that much doubt to begin with. You were, after all, already friends with a fellow Muggle. Oh, is that just not great? But, you see, before any meeting with Hesvelge could take place, certain preparation needed to be made, and what better way to help you pass the time than by having you perform all these tiresome tasks and no one ever want that no one ever wants to do. Is he so clever? What are you gearing about? You didn't do anything. Seriously? Seriously, Assistant? Oh dear, by the horn. Bring the horn, quickly now. Wait, is that a horn? It's a miniature trumpet. We blow on this wondrous instrument whenever we wish to speak with the Great Worm. We we haven't perhaps been treating it with the care it deserves of late, and I think Mugen may have settled. Oh my god. Okay. And you need to... Yeah, that's not... Oh god, oh my, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it, that's not good. That's not good at all. So we need some time for cleaning and polishing, straightening. Oh, it's just, oh my god, okay, so, so it's just a bit bent. No lasting harm done, though. Now you need simply head to Zenith, the worms dwelling to the west, and give the horn a good thought. We are in your depth, Tifton. Thank you for your noble gift. We shall finally have a place, have a chance to plead our case. Very possible, yes, but it would... I wouldn't get my hopes up too high. The old worm isn't terribly fond of, you know, humans. Your concern is appreciated, but I'm quite certain that this world will welcome our overtures. Hmm, I'm not sure. Why would he? Should we ever arrive in this lair? Wait, wait. Should we ever arrive at this lair? Come, we have squatted. Oh, he's just, yeah, okay, so he's, he, he's pressed on time, he's being a dick about it. I'm also going, going to fetch something to drink. And also some nuts. There we go. Chieftain Muglin, we thank you for your gracious hospitality. Though we must soon take our leave. I pray that we may continue to nurture the shoots of our new sprung friendship. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Of course, of course. Visit us whenever you wish. Consider Mug home your home amongst the clouds. Yeah, it's very hospital. Okay, so we can leave this place then. 
great. Thank for your uh, thank for your help, Kupa. I would never have found the time for all of those rotten chores. Mm -hmm. It wasn't my idea. If the chieftain had spent a little less time sitting about and a little more time chiefling, things would have never gotten so messy in the first place. And he was the one who sat on the horn, by the way. But now all the errands are done and the horn is fixed. So all's well and ends well. Well, I expect you eagerly to be on your way. Did I mention your friend was looking for you, Kubo? If not, Alphanet is looking for you. He'll be waiting just outside, stretching your wing, stretching my wings. Let me know when you're ready to depart. Let's take a look. Um, let's take the blue quest now. We do need them because we need the Eva currents. And there you go. Can't really like neglect them. Have you ever made it in the waters of the northeast? Of course not, because a gang of burly Robskins have been attacking any who get near them. If you were kind enough to slay a few that might scare them away, giving me time for a dip in the waters. Okay. Holy crap, man, that's a bloody long way. Great. Okay, let's talk to Alfinot. To the best of my knowledge, we have all that we need for a trip to Zenith. And I believe the Elder Seer and her Retune. Retune? Retinue. Retinue. We'll soon be making the way journey back to Gridania. It would be remiss of us, I think, not to convey our gratitude to them prior to going our separate ways, shall we? Okay, well, see offered, like, we didn't really ask. Alphina Daily, I do humbly thank you for what has been a most enlightening experience. Were it not for your pioneering spirit, the existence of these Mughals might never have been revealed to us. It's we who should be thankful, Elder Sitsia. Were it not for your timely diplomacy, they would have never have chosen to reveal themselves at all. And it was your presence, uh, Kuplo Kop, that ultimately warned, uh, won us that trust. It must have taken great courage to leave the sancti sanctuary of the Twelve's Wood, and we are exceedingly glad that you did. Better than pirates still? Really? It was my pleasure. I've made so many few friends, so many new friends, and and wow, I am really butchering this today, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I have so many fantastic tales to tell my kings and moogles back home. And so, uh, and... It is to our home that we must now return. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal, my friend. Well, what do you know of the crystal, by the way? Safe journey, El, El Cicero. We must be on our way. Yeah, I agree. Pray attend closely to your companion, Sir Assistin. Beneath that social facade, a storm of anguish seems a uh, seeds unseen. Yeah, we we know we he's pissed constantly. You don't have to remind us to it, but we've been traveling with him. Okay, um, let us go. Where the hell is the out? Nothing this way. Man, this is such a bloody labyrinth. 
And even though it's just two entry points, like it's it's not a labyrinth at all. Mugen, what do you want? Uh, have you said your goodbyes and devil away your tears? Then we are indeed ready to go. Uh, level 54. Um, at 55 we need to switch. Because otherwise our uh, healer is not going to be keeping up. And I actually do need two classes to deal with this. As Chieftain Muglin already explained, the shiny instrument we gave you is the best means of grabbing Isvalgir's attention. I'll come along and show you the way to Zenith. That the that's the big palace where you need to blow the horn. So that's over there. First things first though. We need to make for Ashan. Oh, and watch for the rampening dragons. Maybe that should be in the first thing. Yeah, that, I think I think that would be the, the first thing, yeah. There's another blue quest over here. Mug Mugski? Or maybe not put our weapon. You. You aren't thinking to head towards Asha and I. We actually are. Uh, best watch yourself if you are. Uh, if you are. Are. Ashito's story. Whatever, man. What the. F what is that word? Ashitoris? Stalking the road looking for an easy meal. If only someone could drive them away. Oh, you seem the type f uh, for ha dragon hunting. Why don't you slay three of the sources and open the road back up for Mughal traffic? Once the deed is done, let them know. Okay, cool. Where is it? That's over there. So we have three quests that we need to do. I think we go right first. Oh, better than pirates. Yeah, by the uh, pronunciation you mean definitely. Like, damn, the pirates were a nightmare, absolutely disgusting to read through it. I can't do that. Yeah, we'll go here first. I feel like I'm taking a detour. Yeah, I think I might be not going the best route. What the hell is that? Oh, we need to kill these. Never mind. Get up? No. Up here? No. Yeah, I'm definitely not going into the right direction, I think. At least it feels like that. Well, maybe. And they look mean. Can I get another one? Because I'm lazy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it for hanging out. Have a great day. Yeah, now that particular skill that I'm lacking right now would be very useful to get my HP up. We do have our chocobo over here. And that should be one, two, three, come on. Come <laughs> on. 
So these are the bathroom. I actually do think they're quite nice looking though. Yeah, that's one. We actually have to go back. Let's just teleport. Oh, and thank you so much for the follow. Why this? Was there no... That's weird. Why is that not doing it? Thank you for the follow, really appreciate it. I don't know why it's not doing it. Very strange. I'm not sure what's going on. Let me get rid of that. Let, let's do that again. Which alert. Extremely weird. Like if, if that is what I can expect from the Twitch alerts, then I'm not sure I'll use it. weird man like stream labs is working that is one but I didn't I didn't want to use stream labs I was looking forward to can I just duplicate that delete this one copy source Range. I, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't like that it's not do, uh, working. It's kind of stupid. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, it is what it is. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll look into it later. Not right now. I'm still getting over that... Um, Bit of tiredness, 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 ness, 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 whatever. Like I didn't sleep all that great, which is annoying. Many thanks, brave adventurer. Finally, I can enjoy a bath without the smell of raw dragon fish assaulting my senses. Say, a dip in the water might serve uh, to uh, freshen up. Wait, are you staying? I'm stinking? Man, that's mean. That's a bloody low blow. Uh, what's the current going? Okay, so it's two. Oh, okay, four and one, two, three, four, five. So it's nine. Can I just get up here? No.
You know, I, I kind of want to turn off the traveling music. The music were mounted. Which one is it? I think it's this one, yeah. I've been hearing the same song too many times on my Chocobo and I kind of want something else going on. Uh, let's take a look at the compass. Uh, Northwest 412. Hmm. I might not dodge everything right now. Give my Chocobo something to do. I got regen, got poison. One is almost down. Most dragon in waiting. Ice dragon in waiting. Why are they waiting? Okay, 425 to the north, which is over there. So it's somewhere around here then. Uh, we need to kill three of these. Can we get a few together? I don't think so, yeah. We'll just do one at a time, it's fine. I'm also looking into ways to make more money. Like selling mob drops or something. I do want to be having an easy time with it though. just have to pick up that skill that will give us HP. There it is. I love that my Joker is fighting. I still think it's so amazing. Yeah, I know. I will definitely fill you in if I find some easy money. Well, I was doing some dungeons. Um, especially leveling dungeons. And every time you go in, like... I'm sure that one if you run a dungeon you'll you'll actually get a good amount of money because you'll I think you're like end game. Because if I run a dungeon I will get like fifteen, twenty thousand. To the north. I think like I'm missing. I'm not sure. I think you actually do get more. I think you, like, the higher you get in the game, the more expensive things are. So I would assume they will drop more gil when running a dungeon. Ooh, 
all the dailies at 90 as well. Wow, seriously? 100k plus? If I... Well, okay, so it's not... Oh, that is not that much now, indeed. You're right. How long does it take you to do all of them? Because I usually don't do all of them. I've not done any of them in actually quite a while. Yeah. No, it, it's it, it's definitely... Yeah. No, I thought so. I, I'm actually... I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Like, I do a, a mission here and there. I think I might have missed an ether current. Okay, what do you want? Let's take a look. Is that someone from below? Now did you get past the Archosauruses infesting the road? What? Mostly ask you to slay them for him. It's just like him to depend on the kindness of strangers. We've barely been able to venture outside of Ash. Uh, Asa, for fear of being attacked. Now, thanks to you, the roads are just a little safer. Oh, there is actually one over there. Uh, currently, a bit of burnout, so keeping Final Fantasy time to. Yo, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. it it's a grind. It, it, sure, it sure as hell is a grind. Especially, like, you're doing the raiding. And I don't know what else you can really do. Uh, things were a bit bitey for a while there. But I think we've arrived in one piece. I wonder what ha... I wonder what has the dragon so awfully snappy. I mean, the bad ones are always bad. But they seem worse than usual. Okay, so we can actually get some gear which I'm not going to be taking. I don't think the 130 gear is, is, is interesting at all. Uh, item comparison. So I'm, I'm using this. Strength is 1 up. Vitality is the same. Direct hit is actually better. And tenacity is less. But you do actually get two material. I don't, I just don't care. Just give me the money. I need the money. I'm greedy as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I've not looked into it that much. Uh, waiting for the winds to change. I still have the vision in my brain from the summoner gear. When I was still a Shrek. We may already have a small problem. When the winds are high like this. Uh, Yisvada invariably abandons his lofty patch. And heads through the lands below to hunt. If you try if you try blowing the horn now. I doubt you hear it. I suggest we stop and clear up. Ahead and rest until the wind dies. I'm looking forward to see what, um, especially like late game, will bring in terms of uh, looks. Okay, so north east. Wait, north east? Somewhere over there. I I kind of think we'll eventually go there. For now. Let's not worry about it. We'll just um, go where the MSQ brings us. I think this we, we are not staying in this map for a very long time. And also this is quite weird. We're skipping one.
Okay, no, still northwest. Oh, so it's actually now it's in that direction. Oh, whatever does this game want? Okay, what do you want? Um, this should do nicely. The winds will likely have died down by tomorrow. But until then, we might as well make ourselves comfortable. If we must interrupt our journey so close to its end, I suppose this place has as good as any. And mayhap a brief respite uh, from the hardship of the roads will help to clear our minds in readiness for the coming parley. Very well then, I believe a campfire is in order. Leave the gathering for the fuel to me. I acquired a key nose for firewood during my time in the frozen wastes of Kurtas. Hmm. Clear our minds. It's Master Alfinots whose minds need clearing. The thought of meeting a great worm in the flesh has baffled the boy. Did you see him stroll away as if the runes were not crawling with deadly beasts follow him daily and see that the wildlife does not make a meal of our young friend? We have been... Uh, we will have the camp ready by the time we return. Holy crap, how fast did this guy run? I'll go down there? Oh no. Don't tell me I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, that would have been so awkward. Yeah, these circles, he is definitely being attacked. This, this lower Skylord is actually very strong. He's almost uh, rank 9 as well. And that does increase its HP. Trying not to bring all of the dragons, but it seems like there is little option for us. Is this, by the way, this, this plunge? Is that really a good skill? Like, I'm still debating whether or not to keep it in my main bar.
I see, I was right to worry about the boy's safety. Once Alphilat returns with the wood, we can see about supper. The Ice Queen has filled a pot with what looks like stew ingredients ready for the fire. Where the hell is Alphinot? That's it. Okay. Fine. Yo, how are you doing, man? <laughs> Fucking cute. I'm doing great. Oh, it's not voiced again. Oh, fuck me. Ah, few things compared to the simple pleasures of sitting beside a crackling fire cam, uh, campfire of one's own making. Ah, so speaks the great explorer. Until recently, you wouldn't have recognized firewood if it came with a kindling and a flint. It's well to... Uh, it's... It's well you instructed me so patiently then, but yes, left to my own devices, I would have been compa uh, compelled to signal your still with a pile of damping leaves. Yeah, I think a medium would definitely be the best option. Oh, I've, I went to the gym yesterday. It's difficult if I have a an itch on my back. It's fucking killing me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That... Oh. Especially because we can do more bits. I was born... Uh, I was... I was born the pampered son of a Shalagan dignitary. And alongside my twin became the youngest student ever to be accepted into the studium. Yo, Tweak! Yeah, I love Heaven's Sword. Uh, I think Heaven's Sword... Um, Heaven's Sword made me recreate my character and play the story again, completely reading everything. Because I felt like oh, I was skipping so much and then that's why I, I'm still in Heaven's Ward right now. I spent four months doing A Realm Reborn again just to be in Heaven's Ward for the second time in my life. So I got as far as 3.3, I got to the Diadem, and yeah, yeah, that is an eternity. Four months, uh, four, four long months. Anyways, how proud I was to match wits with scholars and philosophers. How arrogant of mine own shortcoming that hubris invited manipulation and betrayal and led to the downfall of the science. How are you doing, Twig? We all of us are guilty of similar ig uh, ignorance. How many men lay down their lives, never knowing that it is that, uh, never knowing what it is that they are fighting for, never questioning what which they have been taught to believe. It was upon meeting Is um, as Valga that I learned the truth hidden within our history. Were it not for the chan chance encounter, I would have never vowed to tear down the Holy See and expunge the falsehood which, uh, with which it fans the flame of conflict. I would have lived and died in ignorance that the truth has driven me to, a terrible f to, to do terrible things I cannot deny, but I would rather sin in the pursuit of peace than imagine myself virtuous of 
perpetuating, perpetuating a needless war. Let's use the smear actually. If this journey has taught me anything, it is the importance and difficulty of holding to one's convictions in the face of failure, of striving always to replace one's ignorance with knowledge. You are well on your way, Master Alphinet. At your age, I was but a fool swinging a spear, with scarcely any thought in my head. I think you didn't go far then. Even now, I struggle to acknowledge the misconception under which I have been, which I have been laboured. Sitting here amongst these grand ruins, how can I deny? That man and dragon once lived in peace. But for all that such an ex uh, age existence, we are now in a time of war. Nithawk killed my family, and no quirk of history will ex exonite them. I may be ignorant of how the Dragon Song War began, but if we do not pull an end to this conflict now, I can say for certainty, for certainty that it will only breed more vengeful souls such as mine. In my hands uh, resides the power to vanquish a great worm. If Ishgard's survival rests upon me wielding that power, I will slay Nikok myself. Orders or no? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, you gave your word. My word is contingent upon the success of our parley. Show me the strength of your convictions, Lady Iceheart. Convince his Valgir of the righteous of our cause. Oh, it seems my dog wants to go outside again. Doubt not that I shall, Dragoon. Well, winds willing. We shall have our answers on the morrow. Let us sleep now and face our faith with the rising of the sun. I uh, I should I'll, I'll post the list of the medium houses on Discord later, uh, Fred. And I'm going to let my dog out right now. So I'll uh, I'll be right back.
He's back inside again. Let's take a look. So let's go talk with Mogan. What level is this mission? 54 still. Now we're getting close to 59. And we're already down, I think, two skills. Yeah, Garvin Split's going to be level 61, which is going to be last one for Dark Knight. Come, go lie down there. But this additional drain seems extremely useful. Alright, let's go. Uh, oh, it seems like we're actually meeting the guy. Awesome. The fire camp was cozy. I must have fallen asleep. But do, uh, but do you feel how the winds have shifted? They will have borne his father back to the skies above Zenith. I'm sure of it. This is your chance to climb the highest floor of the palace and summon him with that toot on that shiny horn. Um, I'll be heading back now if it's all the same to you. Good luck. It was nice knowing you. Wow, seriously? Nice knowing you? God damn. That's rough. Let's go. Is there anything, any ether current? Northwest 400. Okay, is there a crystal? There is actually a crystal. We'll take it. it saves a lot of the journey though. It is a very nice looking place. feel like I'm missing a few. 38 to the west? Oh, well, there's one over there. That's nice. Let's just, uh, let's just grab this one before I do forget. How many do I still need? Three from a quest and one by foot. Okay. No, don't, don't, don't blow it. Oh God! And one of the big Moogles sat on it. Okay, that's annoying. Mortals, why do you do? Why do you disturb my solitude? Oh, don't tell me he's going to do that weird voice thing every time, right? Like I'm going to assume it's like an ancient dialect. Now speak is the name of a creature that but awaits the release of oblivion, believe me. I the twelve. My ears hear the tongue of dragons, yet the meaning rings clear within my mind. How can that be? Because I'm reading it. 
Simple as that. Grace Velga, do you not remember me? Twas I whom you found in Dravania. I who glimpsed the truth. The truth about your past. About Shiva. Do not speak her name, mortal. But speak it I must. I have summoned Shiva's soul from the beyond and offered myself as her vessel. She has made her heart known to me. Foolish girl, thinkest thou my beloved spirit had descended from the heavens? That the secrets of her heart are dying to know? I have surrendered mine to her. Do you not see, my love? I am Shiva reborn! Oh, you are mentally challenged. A gullible fool, the light but illuminated the path for thee. I did not grant thee omniscience. The spirit thou hast summoned belongs not to Shiva, but to a shade conjured by thy own fancy. In the long lost past, mine own ken were guilty of like folly, be guilted by the dark ones, lies they attempted to rescue a king amongst wyvern, yet the divine they called forth merely borrowed the semblance of my fallen brute, uh, brute brother. Such gods are not summoned but created, phantoms spun from the threads of misplaced faith. Then the spirit that answered me. Yeah, that's that's just you, hun. It was but a dream of Shiva. Thy, sh uh, thy soul had been corrupted by a deity of thy own making. Holy crap, she summoned a bloody god or created one all by herself? Man, she's good. Wait, what? Okay, that's a rude awakening. Be that as it may, Lord Tracefelger, Izel's desire to heal the rift between man and dragon is real, and it has borne us this far. We would spare both our kind and yours the ravages of this senseless war. Pray join your voice to ours in a call for peace and forgiveness. The tale of thy kind is one of Everest's treachery and death, and thou would speak to me of peace. Hark the mortal to the tr naked truth. Then tell me thou deservest forgiveness. Twelve hundred years ago my beloved Shiva sacrificed served Sacrifice served to bring an end to the war twixt man and dragon, paved the way for an age of peace and cooperation. Two centuries of harmony were to follow, during which time the Elzen learned much about us, not least that the eye of the Great Wern are the wellspring of its strength. That's why it's blue. Okay. It was out of this self, selfish desire to possess the strength that King Tol Torden then conspired to undo all that our people had achieved together. With the aid of his Leal Knights, the most noble of Elzen lured my brood sister uh, Rata Toshka into an ambush and took from her that which she craved. Vain would I strike the image from my mind over, yet still the scene doth linger from my brute sister's tainted corpse, defiled by her elzen allies. They had torn out, my god you're loud, uh, you had torn out her eyes and feasted upon them in the manner of wild beast. And yet, that was not all, for from their 
bloody banquet, the fiends had gained strength beyond that of mortal men. Even now, I labor to comprehend the enormity of their betrayal. Nikok was the first to learn of the atrocity, and he took to the skies, hungry for vengeance. But do he slew Thorin and some few of his knights, the f uh, their fellow butchers, known only too well where to aim their spears, and with now precise savagery, they set about my brood butter, sending him flailing from the field. Okay, so okay, such in the truth is the holy seed to keep hidden. Such was the beginning of the Dragon Song War. It's the song my kind shall never forget, and should ten thousand years pass, and Ishgard's crumbled into dust. Your tale bears scant resemblance to the one I was taught. How convenient that it should absolve your kind of all responsibility. But tell me, dragon, why should I believe your version of events? True. Uh, what thou chose to believe is immaterial. The betrayal that yet haunts mine every waking moment is no less than the truth to my kind. Uh, it makes sense. And Nithok meant for Torden's people to suffer for the, for the sin till the end of days. That which thou imagine uh, imaginest a war of extinction is but a punishment, a siege of the spirit. Hast thou not seen those who tire from the torment, those who abandon their own and side with dragon kind, like Lady Ishad? So yeah. Known that all the traitors purposely bear a trace of Ratagosha essence. But a single sip of our blood is enough to awaken it. Then, the seed lies within us. Oh, you fucked. It's for this reason that those who abandon their loyalties are rewarded with a drink, and thus are they transformed to join the ranks of Nithok's ever-growing army as newborn dragons, one by one, though death or defection, my brother, shall account for all the betrayer's children. Give me a second here, because now he's just being annoying.
I like my dogs, but my god. I always want to go outside, like in the middle of the night. It's like 15 past 1 a.m. And then they start barking, which is bloody annoying. Uh, okay, so yeah, we have already read this one. Ye gods, I have borne witness to such a transformation. Looked on as a heretic assumed the shape of a dragon. I imagined it's some manner of Dravanian enchantment. Uh, sometimes it was. But if any Ishgardian, regardless of allegiance, has such potential within them, Twelve, forgive us. To think of all the dragons we've slain. Uh, there will always be some, of course, who choose to fight until the better end, like the dragoon. By struggling as thou might, thy youthful vigor will be spent ere the riches to score. What the fuck is he talking about? But struggle as thou might, thy youthful vigor will be spent ere thou reachest to score and ten. And Nithog, Nith Nithog shall remain to torment thy offspring. Oft have I wondered why Nithog did not simply raise Ishgard to the ground. Well, why would he? <laughs> Destroying it from inside. Now I have my answer. He has no intention of winning the Dragon Song War, for it is no war at all, but vengeance, an eternal requiem sung for his murdered sister. In the ice in thou hast uh, the ring of it, Dragon Slayer. Comprehend thou now the full, full fertility of thy quest. I have yeah. not come this far only to admit defeat. We can still return the eye to Nidhogg and beg forgiveness for our ancestors' crimes. Oh, you've stolen for Mayhap our fall. words will sway him. Of course not. Yeah. Stubborn child, thou thinkst in mortal terms. Our perception of time is too broad for thy to grasp. It's a simple matter of thee to offer thy apologies. Thou didst not perpetrate the crime. Despite thy visions, the deed of history seems distant to thee. For a reverend such as Nithog, Nithog, however, that history is yet part of his present, as flesh as the blood of that gushed from uh, his sister's wound, how could he not be driven mad? It's only the calming embrace of Siva's soul that mine own fury had not consumed me. But let us speak no more of what is done. My faith of our kind, and my faith in your kind is spent, and I would be alone. It's kind of annoying that they did this raw thing in the back. Like half voiced, half not. Like I'd rather have it all, do it all or don't. Uh, Isvagia was ever bit as owing and spying as I imagined. His voice fairly dripped with power. The will behind his words so undeniable that it transcends my ignorance of the dragon's tongue. This, but a pity that I misliked what he said. So far did we travel, even though the very heavens themselves only to be dismissed like unruly children, and far from mitigating this humiliation, the hidden truth we have learned served only to prove that our grand mission of peace was destined to fail 
from the first. Nothing will deter Nick, uh, deter Nitok from his course. Yeah, he doesn't have to do anything. Like he just have to wait. He's hard, bro. Well, what do you propose we do now? I, for one, am intent on continuing to the east. What is there to be found in the east? Nidhogg's lair, the Airy, is said to lie in that direction. And the eye tells me he is near. You cannot still mean to slay him. Why not? You cannot still mean to stop me. I have been true to my word and aided you in this fool's errand with Hraisvulgar. But your efforts at Pali have come to naught, Lady Iceheart. I would see Ishgard saved, and for that, Nidhogg must die. With the tale of our ancestors' vile betrayal yet ringing in your ears, you speak of continuing this war? Nay, Lady. I would but pierce its vengeful heart. When Nidhogg dies, this war shall die with him. Kinda makes sense. A moment, Astinian. You yourself spoke of the Great Worm's strength, that you believed him powerful enough to raise your city to the ground. How then are we few to challenge him? <laughs> She's completely Even hard behind broken. the stout walls of Ishgard, with an army of knights manning the defenses, our victory would be hard won. Yet you propose to contend with the beast in his own lair. In close combat, this will afford us an advantage. And if the tales are true, the warrior of light has bested many an invincible foe. But such speculation is meaningless if we cannot even find the worm. Our first task must be to seek out Nidhogg's lair. It seems like we're actually going towards the dungeon now. The Every. The story of this nation grows bloodier by the moment. Must death always be answered with more of the same? Such is the way of things, I fear. I shall consider it a miracle if mine armor is not stained crimson ere this conflict is ended. Should be blinded by my own lies. Everything I believed, everything I thought I was, gone. All gone. Leave her. Your words will not reach her now. And we have not the time to wait for her to gather up the pieces of her shattered faith. That's, a, that's one rough cutscene. Okay, where do we need to go? It's down there. Can I just jump? Please tell me I can jump. Very sad song playing right now, and I love it. To the east. No, okay, so it is. Okay, so a thousand to the east. Now okay, we're going to be attacked again.
Is he maybe level? Oh, so damn close. Alright, so now we have to go there. Oh, okay. That's a long bloody walk. So I'm I'm going to be assuming we'll be very close at reaching another dungeon. If anyone wants to join, by all means. All means actually. Yeah, waiting to inhale. There we go. There is one. I think it's, it's probably over here. I don't see any of the other blue quests. I'm going to assume this dungeon also gives me one of the Aoife uh, currents. Figure it out soon. Northeast 400. Such a gloomy, gloomy day. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, so it's for the every there we go. Listen to the north. Nice, there it is. Right in front of my nose. Yeah, so that's so the rest only can come from quests. Like that. Okay, moon eyed a moon eyed <laughs> Can't really see it but still it would be funny though. Okay, what do you want? Um whatever you can be take whatever can be Are you kidding me dude? I'm reading. I'm struggling with that as it is. Don't attack me. To bet you we need to kill these. 
Um, whatever can be taking her so long. My replacement should be in here already, but I don't see her anywhere. I'm so hungry. I wait to see went home on account of those troublesome t you see? Tullyland's just flappering around. If you can slay four of them, that should secure my safe path. Give my replacements no excuse. Please, my stomach is begging you. Damn it. Hey, there's a bunch of them down here somewhere. Three of them, it seems. Can we get him? And then those four together. <laughs> I wonder how this will go. Might need a bit, be a bit more careful. Now we're fighting four, so we're definitely going to be using area of effect. If if one would go, that would be great. Come on, choke again. Got a bit of regen going. Okay, one's down, two is down. Um, damn lightning spiders now attacking as well, which usually they do a lot of damage. So I'm going to be focusing on min. Just don't like them. They're always doing so much damage. That's it, let's go. I was definitely questioning if I could survive, but Chocobo rank 9. There you go, thank you. Now that the talents are out of the way, it's only a matter of time before my replacements get here. I am about to pass out from hunger, so I'll think I'll go on ahead. What could go wrong? <laughs> Yeah, what could go wrong? Mm. Ah, he's leaving me alone. Oh, this is the dungeon, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely the dungeon. Is that it? What? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's it, can't fly. Aye, that would be the airy. I feel Nidhogg's presence through the eye. His caustic hatred gnawing at my soul. Twould seem the death of his consort has put him on guard. Mark how he wards his lair with tempestuous winds. A similar barrier once barred our entrance to the Primal Garuda's domain, until we discovered the means by which it could be penetrated. Mayhap it is time we called upon Master Garland. It will be just like the good old days, no? Are you talking like it's been ages ago? A force of sufficient power to break through the primal's defense. Wait, this is a primal? Might be conceivably granted as X to uh, the area, and I can offer no better solution. Break and salt this engineer friend of yours. Very well. On the condition that you swear not to lure Natok from his lair in our absence. And steal all the glory for myself, you mean? Nay. I am not so selfish as that. Contact me by Link Pearl 
when your preparations are complete and we shall set forth from Ishgard together. I suggest we rendezvous back at the Saint Renet's Forum daily. From what I gleaned of the Holy Seas, um, Dedic. Daddy. De wait, what? Dead Sea Deadly? Decidedly ambitious airship project, Sid will still be in Ishgard. Okay, so we're not going to be flying here right now. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, let's go to Ishgard then. Let's go back. They're preparing for war and we can take it easy. That's nice. I should probably buy level 60 gear for my gatherers. For when I need them. Okay, here's Elfino. Uh When last we saw Master Garland, he was advising the Isgardians on their f uh, ailing airship, correct? In that case, he might still be in Camp Cloudtop. Failing that, we could try the airship landing or mayhap even the Sky Steel f Manufactory. But let us not waste time searching, for, uh, searching aimlessly. Someone in the city is sure to know where to find him. The question is who? Sir Elric would seem the obvious choice, but there is no guaranteeing he will be able to grant us an audience at short notice. Ah, I have it. Count Edmund's younger son prides himself of knowing all of the Holy See's juiciest rumors. Let us return to the manor and see if Lord uh, Ella, uh, M. Mandalayne is about. Okay. Wait, Rage Against the Machines? Fuck yeah. That's a great, great title. Let's go here and go. The weird son. Ah, the hero returns. How goes the fight, old girl? Well, I trust um, in search of Sid Gar uh, Garland, you say. Then say no more. The taverns are full of talk and the name of a silver-haired genius has cropped up more often than most. I hear that he's been tasked uh, with ge uh, getting that monstrous airship the Holy Sea Commission to actually fly. It would seem the project has been plagued with mishap from the first. In any case, Garland Ironworks employers are known to frequent the airship landing and I'll wager their master does too. The airship landing? Yes, I thought as much. Come daily, we must find Sid and trouble him for his expert opinion. Sure, why not? I think that should actually be close. Yeah, it's over there. With the astrologians. I did not expect this detour on this mission. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, he, what? okay, he's already here. That's easy. Um, how fair you both? How terrible, well, not terrible, well, judging by our faces. I'm sure it will come with as little surprise when I tell you we need a favor. Another wind barrier? And you say it was conjured by Nithok? 
Mm. The Enterprise could certainly uh, take you where you need to go, but she would not fare well against dragons. She's agile for uh, for a ship her size, but not that agile. The Ravanians would fly rings around her. And if they took it into their heads to incinerate the rigging, there would be precious little we can do to avoid them. But there must be something we can do, some manner of weapon we could employ. Uh, assistant stand vigil at the edge of the Turing mist, but we do not know how much longer. Alright, alright. I didn't say it was impossible, I said it was impossible for the Enterprise. We need a smaller boat. Uh, it's time we gave that new toy of yours a proper field test. It's probably best if the if we let the lads show you. Come to the magnet factory, not far. It's not far. Ah, oh, whatever. Come on, let's go. Let's take a look, here you go. Our little project just inside. Oh, you're going to like this one. upon our latest and greatest feat of engineering. We call it a mana cutter. A mana cutter. After you put down Gaius, Wedge and me struck out on our own for a bit and started work on the successor to the Tiny Bronco. Now it's called the Tiny Bronco. Impressive little thing, isn't she? My talent for ship design has plainly rubbed off on them. They've adapted the principles of corrupted crystal technology and constructed a mechanism which converts ether from its surroundings into elemental wind. Said wind is then harnessed by the specially engineered sails, providing the craft with propulsion and lift. All in all, a most elegant solution. I like him. I'm actually a little upset that I didn't think of it myself. The design does, however, come with one small flaw. The energy conversion ratio is bloody awful. To generate enough power to get you off the ground, you need to be in an area awash with predominantly wind-aspected ether. In other words, there are a few places you can fly, lots of places you can't. Though no, it's... useless. The new Ishgardian airship hasn't left the boys much time for tinkering. Meaning it may be a while before this particular project takes off, if you'll forgive the pun. <sighs> Tataru, what's happened? I've been looking all over for you. There's been word from Alda. It's about her grace, the Sultana. Okay. It seems you're required elsewhere. No. Leave the mana cutter with us. We'll see that she's airworthy and suitably equipped to slice through oh, those waves. I kind of need the next area. Kinda you need meanwhile to get should to concentrate on providing uh, uh, Rawan and the Sultana whatever help they need.
General Rowan says that uh, says they may have uncovered the Sultana's whereabouts, and he wants you, by which I mean both of you, to go to the Walking Sands uh, right away and help with the investigation. Pressing through his guardian plight may be. Our presence here will not serve to hasten the mana cutter's completion. Let us return to the troubled lands of Daladan and lend whatever aid we may. Have our friends at the congregation sent a message to Esselstyn? Tell them we have identified the solution to our problem and that will take some time to prepare. As you wish. To the walking sands. Let's go. Don't think I have We have one Vesp Bay ticket. Holy crap. That's lucky. One last ticket. I think we can actually buy more of them over there. Do we need to? Probably, don't we? Let's put you over actually let's do this sword. Thank you for coming. And he's still such a beast. No thanks are necessary, General. I trust your recuperation continues apace. I cannot complain. Thanks to Higiri and her ministrations, I've regained much of the strength I lost during my imprisonment. I gather you have made progress in the search for her grace. Aye, some good fortune at last. A few days past, Dulala informed us that a sizable shipment of alchemical supplies had been delivered to the palace. Okay. With Papa Shan's assistance, I set out to ascertain the source and nature of the shipment. My inquiries led me to Frondale's frontistry. There, I learned that an order had been placed for a curious substance designed to sustain patients trapped in death-like slumber. An invention of the former head alchemist, apparently. A death-like slumber? This cannot be a coincidence. It lends some weight to Dulala's claims, aye. Her grace is likely somewhere within the palace, a bed but alive. Before making any attempt to extricate the Sultana, however, it seemed prudent to learn what manner of substance was used to induce her torpor. To that end, I made inquiries as to the whereabouts of the one most like to have administered it. The lady in waiting, Meriel. We sent for you as soon as we learned of her location. All that remains is to apprehend the woman. We shall find our cat's paw in the Silver Bazaar. But we must tread carefully. The market is not the bustling place it once was, and someone is sure to mark our coming. Should they inform the monetarists, we'll have a fight on our hands. We must be prepared for the worst, and being short an arm, I thought it wise to take another in its stead. What say you, warrior of light? Will you lend me yours? I kind of want to keep mine. Then I pity the bastard that stands in our way. Come, my friend. For Nanamo and for Ulda!
Now, our target is Muriel, the Sultana's former lady in waiting, a woman of Midlander heritage. I am told the two of you have met. Our sources indicate that she left the palace shortly after the incident and quietly rejoined the dwellings populations of the Silver Bazaar. I suggest we begin by questioning the market residents and confirm that Meryl is still in hiding there. Wait, we're here. Can we take a ship? That would be bloody useful. What? What's this? It seems that we have the world of time and drop that Shiva. Uh, we might as well just quickly pick them up. Uh, unfortunately, hey, we saw Spruce 13,000. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, they're extreme trials. And wait. Oh, they are there. Drop that ship. And I'm not going to deal with that right now. So we'll quickly take these. And I'm, I'm not reading that. It, it, it's, it's, it's just like a repeat of what you've done. And you'll have to go to the Maelstrom Command. And it's actually wise to do these. Both of them are... Oh no, this is in White Brim Frost. And the other one is in La Nocia. At least if you ever... Um, opt in for a trial. It is possible... That you get into an extreme trial. I had my very first extreme trial like that. Uh, which was against Behemoth. I think it's Behemoth. Uh, let's quickly get on here. I keep forgetting we can actually fly. I'll take the ship. Um, this way the traveling is even better. Should be over here though. Are you the guy? joking it's over there ferry skipper there we go we need you ship me over there mate let's go silver bazaar 40p why not <laughs> all right let's talk to you he, he is deaf. Are you an assassin? No, you're too young. Marilyn, I. She's here. Left the city for good, she says. Barely leaves the house, though. Hmm. It's the one closest to the market, market entrance. What brings you to our lonely little hamlet? I believe the arrival of your entourage just about doubled our population. Looking for Miro, say, I was hoping to lure her back into Ulda. You may as well give up now. The girl is done with city life. Do I know? Of any returning residents, guards, don't tell me they're still st uh, they're starting to come back. 
My masters will not be pleased to hear of this. That's easy. You are Meriel, the Sultana's former lady in waiting. One of that name. Pray excuse me. General Alden. That's all is will have huge. the truth from you, girl. Mayhap it would be better coming from me. <laughs> Lollarito. You'd best talk fast. As you know, Kaleji Adeleji's Cartano reclamation bill was no more than a facade. A means to get his grubby little hands on that Alagan monstrosity Omega. Okay. When he learned of Nanimo's intention to abdicate, however, he was forced to amend his plans. Suddenly, assassination seemed the most promising way to further his ambitions. I am told Teleji had discovered a maid in whose veins ran the blood of House Thorn, a new, more pliable puppet to sit the throne. Would have caused an uproar, of course, but few could have contested her claim. Are you joking? Twas plain that Teleji's wild machinations had outgrown our ability to control them. So I decided to usurp his scheme and left the fool to seal his own demise. And what of Nanamo? Oh, I have no desire to harm her grace. Twould profit me little to destabilize our government. Thus did I employ young Mariel here to administer a potent sleeping potion in place of a poison. You should know, General, that your dear friend Ilbert was fully aware of my plan. I had him lie about the assassination as a means to prime your rage against Teleji. We weren't entirely sure how you would react, but things went rather better than expected. You conniving little worm! You had your claws in the Crystal Braves before their first recruit had sworn to serve! But of course, when a new game begins, it is only prudent to have a piece on the board. Ilbert was mine. Truth be told, a significant proportion of the Brave's initial endowment was also mine. With such large sums moving about, it was a rather trifling matter to disguise my own contribution. Ah, Ilbert. I secured his services with a promise to support his cause once my authority had been solidified. I swear, the man thinks of naught but prizing Alamigo from the grasp of the Empire. That's not so easy, I think. 
Unlike you, General, the poor fellow seems quite unable to forsake the land of his forefathers. Mayhap, that's why he called you a traitor to your people and a disgrace to your homeland, amongst other things. What was it he always compared you to? Uh, oh, yes, an overgrown lapdog begging for scraps at the Sultana's table. <laughs> oh, how we laughed. Alas, ill birds entertaining little outbursts eventually gave way to wearisome tirades, and the zealous brute became rather unruly. I had no wish to see you executed, you understand, but he would not take no for an answer. Rest assured, his employment with me has long since ended. That, that, that doesn't sound like he's very much alive. <laughs> Which brings us neatly to the present. What say you, General? Both you and the Sultana are alive. We have one corpse and one fugitive. And preparations have been made to restore your good name. Shall we cry quits and start again with a blank ledger? Hmm? The hells we will! Do you honestly expect me to forgive and forget? After all you've done, you're guilty of high treason! Stay your blade, Master Alden. You yourself are not innocent. Or have you forgotten your own crime in executing Teleggi Adeleggi without trial? Though you acted out of loyalty to the Sultana, such deeds are in violation of both the word and spirit of the law. If you would, Lord Lollarito? This potion will wake the Sultana from her slumber. Consider it a gesture of conciliation. You will find her grace resting comfortably within her private chambers. Should you doubt my word, I shall willingly accompany you to the palace as your hostage. I like not your motives, Lollarito. But you saved the Sultana's life, and for that, you have my gratitude. Nice. I love this cloak, though. Rauban Aldin. You are hereby reinstated as General of the Immortal Flames. The citizens of Uldar shall once more be united under Nanamo Ulnamo, and together we shall usher in a new age of prosperity. Joy. <laughs> So he's just outside. Oh, it's Elfie not this time. By the 12, I feared Lollarito's arrival would herald another bluff bat. Little did I suspect that he of all people would give us the means to rouse the Sultana. 
right, let's go to the awakening ceremony, it seems. Shall we also make our way to Ulda? I should imagine Barrow... Barrow the Low has been instructed to admit us. Alright. Uh, let's get into Ulda again. It's kind of a shame you get so much XP you don't have to do these quests like ever. I think I missed Keisha again. Yeah, Flame General Roban mentioned you might be coming. Please this way if you will. Oh, just, just like nothing happened. It's so weird. Has like severe PTSD from whatever happened. <laughs> Who can blame him? I was having the longest dream. Tis time to wake up, your grace. Another day begins in Thanalan, and the sun blazes bright upon the sands. He's not completely confused by the lack of an arm. is awoken. The palace physician assures me she is none the worse for her slumber. I believe her grace will soon resume her plans to place the government of Ulda into the hands of its citizens. Whatever path she chooses to take, I shall walk it with her. And we shall tread slowly, lest the nation be unsettled in our wake. Her Grace's compassion is a shining beacon to us all. But what our city truly thrives upon is competition. Tis in the struggle against our rivals that opportunities are seized and fortunes made. And with the Empire on the offensive once more, now would hardly seem the time to turn our system of government upon its head.
Yeah, Are you no privy to new intelligence, quit. my lord? Like, they will never allow it. I would hardly call it new. Remind me, what was the name of that enormous Imperial warship which met its end in Mordona? Oh, wait, I have it. The Agrius. Yes, well, twould appear that the Galeans have been hard at work on another such vessel. How close are they to completing this ship? Is it operational? Will this help? Its maiden flight was a success, I hear. I should imagine Emperor Varys is eager to see how it performs in battle. My lords and ladies, I move that it is time to repair the damage caused by Telegi Adelegi and prepare our great nation to repel the Empire once more. Tis well that the Sultana has awoken. The Syndicate yet needs to put its house in order, but twould seem the worst of the confusion has passed. Uldar has taken control of its future, and I must do the same. I have decided to disband the Crystal Braves. Who she do? <laughs> because they can't be trusted. Among the recruits, there were those who supported our order's goals and convictions with all sincerity. Tis my hope that these loyal men and women will choose to remain our allies in the battles to come. As for those who sided with the traitor, Ilbird, they shall be hunted down and held to account for their crimes. It is my earnest hope that they will surrender themselves peaceably when the time comes, though I think it unlikely. Ah, my all-conquering crystal braves. The model army meant to pave the way for a single unified grand company of Eorzea. That so high an ideal should be brought so low. I need not tell you how deeply the betrayal stung me. Yet I see now that it was mine own naivety and pride which allowed the braves to fall prey to corruption. I don't think so. Oh, I think they were already... <laughs> there was no way you could stop that. As ever, it is to your own shining example that I turn for inspiration. Like you, I mean to stand firm in the face of hardship and give mine all for the cause. Let us resume this search for our missing comrades that we might come together to shine the light of dawn across the realm once more. The role of Crystal Brave Commander suited me ill, and I shall play it no longer. Henceforth, I shall be no more or less than Alfino, proud member of the Scions. I blush to speak thus of mine inner turmoil, but the fact remains, there is no woman alive in whom I would rather confine. Were it not for your shining example, I might have never emerged from beneath the pall of my despair. Okay. Still no word for Master Garland. I hope his mana cutter of theirs is near completion. I assume that her grace will make a full recovery. Aye. And Ulda too shall flourish once more. General Raban and his colleagues have matters well in hand, I believe. Uh, Lady Yugri. A question, if I may. 
I believe your people have been keeping a close watch on the Crystal Braves. Might you know how things stand in the Rising Stones? Ah, yes, of course. You will be pleased to know that the third unit crystal, uh, unit, the third unit Braves abandoned Reverend Stall when they learned of Captain Ilbert's defeat. The only blue uniforms to be seen there now are those worn by soldiers loyal to you, Master Alfinot. To me, I see. I'm grateful to hear that at least some of our members were true to their oaths. Uh, we return to Ishgard. I must go to the Rising Stone and thank these stalwarts for their service. I sh uh, it shall be my final act as Crystal Brave Commander. Will you join me? You were there at the company's uh, inception? It's only fitting that you'll be present at its end. And it will and I would appreciate the support. Alright. Let's go finish the Crystal Braves. A loyal knight in blue. I'm going to have a lot of things to do actually, leveling up the warrior, the white mage, still the scholar and the, uh, the summoner, the ninja, the red mage, oh my god there's so much I need to do. Huh, like there, is there no end? Hopefully not, it's a rhetorical question. They're not even wearing the blue anymore. Commander, you're alive. Ah, daily too. I knew you're scrape pro. My splendid crystal bla braves, I have wronged you, all of you. My promises of glory and salvation have brought you nothing but blood and betrayal. Oh, here we go. Bloody pirate talking. Um, bah. You'll not hear us complaining. It was a side. Uh, it was a side message than expected. I, but we were still fighting for the freedom of all, just like we swore. And that's right, mates. Ain't that right, mates? Night. You humble me. I am truly blessed to have such steadfast comrades. In
All stands ready, Lord Commander. Ah, the moment has come then. Pray excuse my lateness. I paid a brief visit to the workshop to inquire about the mana cutters. The engineers assure me that they're ready. The area is now but a short flight away. Yet what a long and winding path we took to reach this point. Were it not for Master Alphino's proposal, we never would have attempted to parley with the dragons. Though our negotiations yielded little, our expedition with Lady Isa taught us much. You took an unimaginable risk. I could scarce believe the tale Astinian told. Aye. Tis true that many of our countrymen would sooner die than join hands with the heretic's mistress. But twas through that most unlikely of alliances that we came to speak with Reisvelger. A conversation that went rather poorly, as I recall. In this instance, the journey was more important than the destination. Had we not slain Nidhogg's consort, Tiamun, and put the Great Worm on his guard, the Dravanians would have arrived at Ishgard's walls long ago. Aye, that they would. Full grateful am I for every hour of respite your actions have afforded us. Thanks to you, our defenses are much improved. Tis but a pity they won't be enough. Thus, you believe an assault upon the area represents the city's best chance of survival. Is that not so, Astinian? I am under no illusions. Nidhogg's might is legendary. But with his eye in my possession, I can stifle his strength at the source. Victory will be hard won, even so. And I shall be glad indeed to have the Warrior of Light at my side. You shall have my blade as well. There are more of these mana cutters to be had, yes? Lord Commander, no! How can I, a proud knight of Ishgard, stand by and do naught while an outsider risks life and limb for our homeland? I swore an oath to protect this city. Pray leave the slaying of dragons to dragoons tonight. Your duty to command the city's defense is no less vital. Should we fail, a Nidhogg slip to our grasp, who then will hold the walls against him? Will you leave Ishgard in the hands of the Holy See zealots? There are others. Who but you has the authority and the standing to orchestrate a city-wide defense? I do not, and neither does the Warrior of Light. That is why it is our place to fight, and yours to remain here, Lord Commander. What? You too, Master Alfino. By the Fury! You have shown some promise, but this adversary is far beyond your skills. Your candor is appreciated, Sir Dragoon. I shall remain then and cheer you from afar. Well, my friend, it would seem I have discouraged the last of the volunteers and claimed the task as ours alone. But if any alive can best this worm, tis surely we too.
Thank you. 